Hi, Mrs. Zumble's class. Today I have this book to review. This series is called A Series of Unfortunate Events, and this is the first book, and it's called The Bad Beginning. And it's by Lemony Snicket, which I thought was a pretty name. A pretty funny name, I mean. It's about three unlucky children. First, they become orphans, and then they get taken away from their house. Well, their house burned down in a fire. They get taken to a horrible man who wants to take their fortunes. I don't really want to spoil the book, but that's pretty, that's pretty much what happens in the story. The characters are the Baudelaire children, which is over here. This is Klaus, Sunny, and Violet. And this is Count Olaf, the horrible man who don't treat them like what they're supposed to be treated. He treats them really poorly. And there's Mr. Poe, who's a friend of the Baudelaire's, um, the Baudelaire's parents. And there's Justice Strauss, who is the friendly neighbor who looks out for all of them, except for Count Olaf. She doesn't really know about him, even though she's the neighbor. Claus, Violet, and Sunny work very well. Violet likes to invent new and unique things. Claus, well, you can call him a bookworm because he reads so many books. There's Sunny. Well, she just helps them, but she's really helpful. And, well, in, in the first part of the book, their parents die, and it's really shocking. I like how the story starts off with a bang. They become orphans, and Mr. Poe gives them to Count Olaf, who is believed to be a distant relative of theirs. When they get to Count Olaf's house, things start to go weird. First, they notice there's eyes always watching them. Well, you can't technically call them eyes. They're just like drawings of eyes. Like there's tattoos on Count Olaf that have eyes. There's in the wallpapers, there's carved of eyes in the doorway, in the door, I mean. And they have to sleep in one room, which is has only one bed, and it's all torn up in their room. It's like really messy, and there's three of them, so they can't really fit in there. And they have to do chores for Count Olaf, which is what you're not you're not supposed to be treated like that if you're a kid. Well, I guess that's how he treats them. It's really bad, but I guess this book is a really good one. And. Oh, of course. I couldn't forget about Justice Strauss. She's a really nice neighbor to them. She always looks out for um, the bottler children. This story is really good despite the fact you're reading about children who get treated poorly. But there's a catch. There's no happy ending. There's 13 books in all, but there's no happy ending. This book was made in 1999, which was pretty old, but the details were nice. And I rate this book 5 out of 5 stars because the story was really specific and the wording was perfect. I really recommend you to read um, this book. I hope you enjoy it if you want to read it. Thanks for watching and bye.